Microsoft have been hard at work on their Copilot Vision software. This is an innovative feature that is going to be integrated into the Microsoft Edge browser. It basically allows you to see and interact with the content of the web pages that you're going to be browsing. This provides contextual assistance and of course insights. The feature is currently in a limited preview phase and is only accessible to Copilot Pro subscribers in the United States through the Copilot Labs program. However, in this video, I'll show you guys the future of online browsing and a feature that we're likely all going to have access to next year. There's four key areas that they've shown us in a recent demo. I'm gonna cover those right now. The first one is co-gaming. Hey, Anthony. How's hey. it going? Hey, I'm just playing this new game called GeoGuessr. What is GeoGuessr? I cannot believe you guys haven't heard of this. Is this like a new game or? No, no, no. Okay, let's just try it and we can use Copilot Vision. It'll teach you as we go. Okay. Hey, Anthony, I'm here. Hey, Copilot, I just need some help playing GeoGuessr. Ooh, sounds fun. Apparently, I'm supposed to guess where this image is. Okay, let's look closely at the architecture, vehicles, signs, and the environment. Let's focus on any languages, symbols, or distinctive features in the image. What about the language here? The big red characters are Chinese, and the smaller letters in English give a clue. Yeah, where is that? Where is Pase City? It's located in the Philippines. Oh, okay. we're going to try to guess the Philippines. Let's see. Yeah. Let's try it out. Great idea. Do you know if Pase is in the north or south part of the Philippines? It's in the northern part of the Philippines. Great. That's good enough. Let's do it. Nice. Ooh. Nice teamwork. Thanks, Copilot. I think your strategies helped out a lot. You're welcome. Always enjoy a good challenge. Next, what we actually have here is the planning. So for example, a lot of us do plan things through the browser. Sometimes we might need a little bit of help. And this is what they showcase with Copilot planning. We have this AI agent in the browser that's able to look around at what we're doing, learn from the context and give us some really decent advice. Hey, I'm Danny, and I'm here to show you Copilot Vision. Hi, Danny. So I am thinking about what I'm gonna do this weekend, and my niece is in town, thinking about going to the California Academy of Sciences, but I don't really know much about it. Is that a good idea? Sounds like a fun plan. The California Academy of Sciences is a great spot, especially if your niece is into immersive exhibits. She is super into dinosaurs right now. Dinosaurs, that's cute. Then this is definitely the right choice. It could be a really fun and educational experience for her. Where should we go at the Cal Academy if she's into dinosaurs? Check out the Kimball exhibit. It has fossils of early human relatives and a towering T-Rex. Click on that dinosaur image to see more. Nice, what else could we do? The Morrison Planetarium has got a massive dome that makes you feel like you're actually floating in space. Whoa, this looks really cool. Doesn't it just make you think about how small we are? Yeah, space reminds us just how much we still don't know. Isn't it wonderful? Definitely. Thanks, Copilot. So that's Copilot Vision. Let us know how you think Copilot could help you make some plans this weekend. Now, the next one that we have here is one that I could really use at the moment because Christmas is fast approaching. And this is basically where they use the Copilot Vision to be able to get some holiday gifts. And it's actually really useful because sometimes you need like a second or even third opinion on the kind of gifts that you might choose for maybe a friend, a relative or a partner. So it's something that I think is actually going to be really useful because online shopping is one of the most tedious things ever. And Copilot Vision would actually help me out a ton here. Hi, I'm Ben, and today we're going to do holiday shopping with my personal AI companion, Copilot. Hi, Ben. I'm here and ready to chat. Hey, Copilot. I'm looking for an ugly sweater for my work holiday party. Ugly sweaters are tacky and festive in all the right ways. Let's start by taking a look at Target.com. I'm seeing mostly kids and women's. Anything you think would look good on me? The men's Nintendo Mario ugly Christmas sweater is a solid choice. What about this pizza one? That's kind of fun. It is indeed hilarious. It's quirky, festive, and sure to turn heads at any holiday party. I don't know that I want that one. Let's try something else. 
else. If you're aiming for a bold holiday look, the Believe sweater. Ooh, this one's pretty cool. I love Ted Lasso. Let's check it out. Perfect for spreading some positive vibes at your holiday party. What are the steps for washing and drying this? It should be machine washable and can be tumble dried. This makes it easy to clean and maintain even during the busy holiday season. Okay, let's do it. Thanks, Copilot. And that was Shopping with Copilot, your AI companion. Then what we had here was Copilot actually providing contextual advice on places to stay in New York City for this individual. And I think this, this is something that's going to be really useful because sometimes you don't know where to go. You don't know what places to book. And Copilot that has, you know, a vast amount of information on pretty much everything can give you loads, loads of advice on many things that you hadn't even possibly considered. Hi, I'm Krista, and it always takes me forever to try to find a place to stay when I'm traveling. Let's see what happens when I have Copilot by my side. Hey, Krista, how is the world treating you today? The world's treating me really good. I'm planning a trip. Nice. Any special destination in mind? Oh, I'm ready. I'm going to New York. But I really need to start with a place to stay first because then my trip is going to be real. You've come to the right place, Krista. Looks like you've got a few options for New York City on Airbnb. I'm hoping that you can help me find a place that's a good location, that my kids will like, and that we have enough space to really spread out. Where would you recommend that I start narrowing down my search to? For something ultra central, try around Times Square. If you want a more relaxed vibe, the Upper West Side has great museums and more space to spread out. Let's start there. I definitely need some help with finding some listings. Try zooming in on the map to the Upper West Side area. This way, you'll see options specifically in that neighborhood. All right, I'm seeing this listing here that says Superhost. Do you know what that means? A superhost is someone recognized by Airbnb for providing exceptional hospitality. That sounds awesome. I was just looking at the pictures of this place too and it looks really fun. It's kind of like a library sort of vibe. Looks like you found a real winner. And all those great ratings from families are a good sign that it's, you know, a welcoming place. Curious to see how the rest of their amenities stack up though. Yeah, absolutely. Let's take a look at some of the other amenities. Can you help me find those on here? Wi-Fi, a dedicated workspace, a flat screen TV, air conditioning, and there's even a fitness center on site. Wow, that sounds really nice. What about taking the train to get to Broadway for my daughter who loves musicals? Do you think it'd be easy to get there from here? Absolutely. Broadway theater is just 19 minutes away by subway. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more before I'm ready to really make a commitment here. I'm seeing this other one that says it's an apartment on the Upper West Side. Can you help me see if there's room for everybody to sleep in this place? It says five guests, but only one bedroom, I'm trying to figure out how that's gonna work. Yeah, that could be a little tight with everyone in one room, but it works if you don't mind sharing space. I think I'm gonna skip this one. I don't wanna be that close to my kids. It is a vacation after all. I love <laughs> them, but I have limits. Totally get it. Sometimes you need that bit of distance. Uh, anything else you're curious about for your vacay? Nope, that's it. Thank you. You got it. So let me know if you guys are going to be using Copilot Vision when it comes out. I certainly will. I want to experiment with a lot of different things to see if it could help me brainstorm, if it can help me browse more effectively, especially since I'm working on a ton of different stories and projects. I'd love to see how it makes me more of a power user. With that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, I'd love to see your thoughts down in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.